but I'm just curious, have you ever set a goal and then not accomplished what you were setting out to do? If you have, tell me yes, or you can even tell me what the goal was if you wanna tell me what the goal was that you tried to accomplish that you failed at. I mean, if you haven't failed at something, then you're not doing something right, <laughs> right? Everybody fails. It's a part of life. And um, I'm here to tell you that if you're not failing, then you're not doing anything to succeed either. So let's see, I am trying to get this going and I am not seeing it on my page. If y'all are on Facebook, tell me if you can see me because I'm not seeing it. It says that it's live, but I do not see it myself. Um, but anyway, that's the thing. We're talking about goals tonight and hopefully you have achieved some of your goals in your lifetime. I hope that you have. Um, if you have not ever achieved a goal, then um, let's talk about how to make that easier for you. I would love to make setting goals easier for you and I would like for you to feel good about those goals. Um, I'm just gonna share this to my public page. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't know who Candace is. It's terrible that she died. I'm so sorry to hear that. Hello, grumpy 64. So here we are. I'm like checking the live streams here to make sure that things are doing what they're supposed to be doing. But um, welcome, welcome, welcome. And we are talking about goal setting. So my name is Annette, in case you don't know me. And I just created a program for women who are tired of the scale going up and down and up and down and up and down. But we're going to talk about goals tonight because I think goals apply to pretty much everyone, no matter who you are and no matter what you're doing. And I'm looking at this um, screen and I'm seeing that I have like some kind of filter on that's making me look kind of crazy. Hey, thank you so much for that. There's a filter or something on here that's making me look like blurry. I'm trying to undo the filter. That's better. Okay. I mean, I like to look pretty, but I don't like to look like I'm completely blurred out across the whole screen. So tell me if you've ever set a goal and failed it, or if you've set a goal and achieved it that you're super proud of. I'd love to hear that too, so we can celebrate you. If you've tried to set goals, you deserve to be celebrated whether you succeeded or not because setting goals is the basis of achievement. If you're not setting goals, then you can't ever hit them. So how do you mark, how do you track your success? How do you know that you're actually hitting those benchmarks? So if you think about it this way, um, when you were a baby and you were learning how to walk, of course, one of the benchmarks that your parents are looking for when you're a baby is whether or not you walk, right? And they cheer you on and they encourage you to walk. Now that's their goal. Your goal of course is to learn how to walk, but you don't necessarily know that you have a goal to walk. Like you didn't even know walking was possible other than to see other people walking. So you're like, I want to do that because they're doing that. So when you were learning how to walk and you created that goal in your mind that you were going to learn how to walk, the first time you fell down, did you quit? You didn't. The second time you fell down, did you quit? What about the third or fourth? You didn't. You kept trying to walk until you actually were able to walk. And now guess what? You're a freaking expert at walking or anything else. I mean, if you're one of those people that doesn't have the ability to walk, then of course that doesn't apply to you. And I'm sorry about that. But any, just put that with any goal. If, as long as you don't quit, you're not technically failing. 
You might fail temporarily, but as long as you're not giving up, you're not quitting, you're not failing. So I wanted to take a brief opportunity to just share with you some ideas about goal setting. I'm doing an actual goal setting event. It's called the five day goal achievement workshop. If you're on Facebook, you can find it on my page, my Facebook page. Um, You can just join that group. I actually have a handout that I'm going to share. I'm going to drop that in the comments on the live. Uh, For those of you that want to download that PDF file, But I want to talk about the first step in setting goals is having a reason, having a why, having a literal reason to do it, having a reason to achieve that goal, whatever that goal is. If you don't have a compelling reason to do it, then you're going to be less likely to accomplish it. You have to really be bought in. You have to really be committed. You have to really, really be passionate about what it is that you want. I mean, think about people that are um, musicians, Taylor Swift, or the band Boston, or I don't know who, Luke Bryan. Do you think any of those people quit the first time somebody said no to them? Absolutely not. They kept trying and they kept trying until they got their big break. So if you want to be really good at something, you have to commit to it and you have to basically be laser focused on getting it. But one of the things that I want to explain to you is that having a goal like that, that's so big, can be overwhelming. It can be too much. And sometimes the goal that you set for yourself is so big that it seems impossible. So you're just paralyzed and you don't actually do anything. So I'd like to talk to you this week about, first of all, having big dreams and goals. Yes, absolutely. You need those. But you also need to be able to break them down into doable chunks. And you need to be able to do goals in a way that actually encourage you to continue going, encourage you to make bigger goals and encourage you to keep going bigger and bigger and bigger, making more goals. So um, let's break down the first component in setting goals. And that is your why. Of course, first of all, you have to kind of have an idea of what it is that you want to do, but you need to have a reason why a driving force, a passion, a commitment, all of those things. And you may think you know what your reason is, but if you go through this worksheet that I've created for you, it will help you figure out why it's so important for you and it'll help you be more successful because you'll actually be more committed to your goal because you'll understand that deep driving reason why it's important to you. So um, let's see if you um, if you want the worksheet, you're going to have to go to my Facebook page and grab it. Um, But basically, you're going to ask yourself why. And I want you to deeply ask yourself why five times. So you're going to say something like. um, Let's choose. Let's say you want to run a 5K. Uh, the reason why why do you want to run a 5k or say you want to get a um, promotion at your job what is the reason why you want to get that promotion your superficial why that you think you feel really passionate about could be something like I'd like to make more money or I'd like to be more confident or I'd like to be um I'd like to be, I don't remember what one of them was, uh, run a 5K. I'd like to lose weight. You know, those might be your original why reasons for wanting to do that thing. You might run a 5K, want to run a 5K because you think the process to getting to 5K is going to help you lose weight. And that's a great, a great goal. Um, Or you might be wanting to get a promotion at your job because getting a promotion means you making more money. Or it might be that you want to get that promotion because it gives you um, a higher sense of achievement. 
or more benefits. There's lots of different reasons why you might say that. So kind of jot that down, what your, what your reason, the first reason that comes to your head that you want to reach that goal, what is it? Like what is your initial why? And then um, once you've got that written down, you need to think about that a little bit and ask yourself why again like why it is is it important to me to achieve that particular feeling or that particular level of success like what is the second reason why like go a little deeper and ask yourself a second time what is it that's driving you to that if you achieve that goal and you get the accolades or the additional money what will that do for you If you get to running that 5K and you lose the weight or whatever it is that your goal, your first why is, what will that do for you? Why is that important? So if running a 5K so that you can lose weight is your why, then why do you want to lose weight? If getting that promotion to make more money is your why, then why is making money important to you? Like what will you get if you make that additional money? What is the benefit to you? Or better yet, what is the cost to you for not getting it? So why do you want to do that second why? You know, go deeper. And then once you come up with that second reason why, you're going to ask yourself again, why? Why, if if you were going for that job promotion, that you're going to make more money and your second reason why was because you're going to get a promotion, you're going to make more money. And then why do you need that money? Well, I want to take a vacation. So why do you want to take a vacation? Why is going on vacation so important to you? What will taking that vacation do for you? Come up with another why. So You want to, your goal is to get a promotion. The reason why is to make more money. Your deeper why is because you want to go on vacation. So what does that vacation get you? Why do you feel so compelled to do that, that you're, you're willing to go out of your way to get this promotion so that you can go on vacation? Why is that vacation important to you? It could be that you want to go visit a family member far away. It could be that you just want some time off to do whatever it is that you want to do. It could be that you want to visit the ocean for the very first time. It could be that you want to do something that no one in your family has ever done. Lots of reasons why you might want to make that money so that you can go on vacation. But come up with your why. If you're walking to a 5K or running a 5K was your goal and your first why was, I want to lose weight. Why is it important for you to lose weight? What is losing weight going to do for you? What is your why? And what is your compelling reason that it's important to you? What is the cost of not achieving that goal? If you don't get to running that 5K or walking that 5K and you don't lose the weight, what is it going to cost you? What are you losing by not succeeding at that goal? Coming up with your why is going to be a key factor in giving you the propulsion that you need to keep going through the little failures that you have along the way. Yeah, if you're learning to run a 5K and you trip and fall and hurt yourself and it takes you three weeks to get back to walking, are you going to do it? What is your why? What's going to get you back out there after you have a fail? You need a compelling passionate reason to get you back out there. So this exercise is all about taking that that basic goal that you'd like to achieve and then finding out what your why is. And I want you to do that why five or six or seven times until you really get to the reason that it's important for you to achieve that goal. Because you're going to find out that it might not be exactly what you thought it was. So say, for example, back to the promotion, you wanted a promotion because you wanted to make more money. And then 
why do you want to make more money? Well, you want to make more money so you can take a vacation. And then, okay, so why do you want to take a vacation? Well, I want to take a vacation because um, I want to go visit my aunt who I haven't seen in a long time. Okay, so why do you want to go visit your aunt that you haven't seen in a long time? Um, let's see. She is the one who keeps all of the records of our entire family. And she has tons of things that I think we're gonna, are going to be super cool. Like I'm going to get to see old family photos and things from when my parents' parents' parents came over here from Germany. And I want to see all of those historical records and I want to understand them because my aunt is getting older. And I want to be able to take to carry on the family heritage the way she has done. So you you could find out that getting a promotion so that you could take a vacation, maybe it turns into something a lot bigger for you than just taking a vacation. Maybe it's something super important to you that you've always wanted to do and taking a vacation is gonna provide you the ability to do that. Like maybe you wanted to go scuba diving or maybe you wanted to go snorkeling or maybe you wanted to swim with dolphins and the only way for you to get to the dolphins is to get the promotion so you can get the money, so you can take the vacation, so you can go to the ocean, so you can swim with the dolphins. And then what will that do for you? And how does that make you feel? So if you start at the main goal and you start breaking it down, like why is that important? Why is that important? Why is that important? Until you get to the very bottom, what would swimming with dolphins mean to you? Is that enough to just make you, wow, I have got to get that promotion because I need to swim with dolphins. Like this is my life's passion. I have to do it. I wanted to be a marine biologist, but I was not a marine biologist, but I want to swim with dolphins. I don't know. I don't want to be a marine biologist, but maybe you had a passion for something like that at some point in your life and you've kind of let it go, but you have a goal to get back to the ocean or to go there for the first time. And seeing those dolphins would just really seal the deal. Now, if your goal is to get a promotion, but your end goal is to see the dolphins, which one of those things makes you more passionate? Which one of those things makes your heart sing? Which one of those things gives you the power and the desire to actually go after that goal? I mean, if you've been wanting to get a promotion, but you're afraid to ask your boss, you're never going to get that promotion. But if swimming with the dolphins is like the most important thing you've ever thought about doing in your entire life, and the only way you're ever going to get to swim with those dolphins is if you get that promotion, doesn't that make it just a little bit easier to talk to your boss? Or to put in the little extra time or to you know, ask for extra things to do, like, wouldn't that why of getting to see those dolphins make all of the other things worth it? So the handout for this exercise is in the event, but I also put it in this live because I wanted you to have easy access to it. Please join the five day goal achievement workshop. We're going to be doing some other things throughout this week. And I would love to hear from you what some of your goals are and some of what, what some of your challenges are to breaking through this why exercise, because I think it's super important for you to understand your driving force and why that thing is important to you. So if you can work your way through that, get to that why and really understand and feel the power behind the reason that you want to achieve this goal, then tomorrow we're going to talk about some ways to um, take that one step farther and start implementing those goals into your daily life so that you can start achieving them little by little in a way that makes you feel really, really good about yourself and really, really excited. And it helps pump you up so those goals are in the front of your mind. There's something that you're thinking about all the time and um, you're starting to get excited about achieving those goals. So that is it. I don't want to keep you too long, but I wanted to go live publicly with this. I was going to do it in the, in the workshop event, 
but I didn't really have time to like get it out there to everybody. So I wanted to give everybody an option to jump into the event and get this handout. And I'm, I'm going to have more handouts throughout the week. So there's going to be lots to uh, contemplate. And I hope that you get excited about setting some goals. And I don't care what they are. I don't care if your goal is to walk from your front door to the mailbox and back. If you haven't done that and it's something that you want to learn to do, that's okay. If your goal is to run a marathon, like a full-on marathon, then that's a goal that you need to break down. It's a really big goal. So you need to figure out how you're going to get yourself from point A to point B. And today's entire exercise was getting you to the point to where you feel passionate enough about this goal that you're willing to do the things that are necessary to get there, even if it gets a little bit hard, even if it gets a little bit rocky. You need to have a driving passion that you're excited about that will keep you going when times get tough. And I mean, if you're gonna run a marathon, times are gonna get tough, so you need to be prepared. Just saying. So anyway, I don't care what your goal is. It's if it, any goal will work, but do the worksheet that I gave you. It's in the comments of this video. If you're on another platform, you're going to have to hop over to Facebook or send me a message and I'll send it to you. But um, I have a little handout called what is your why? And it just takes you through those steps one at a time so that you can find your passion, your reason for wanting to do whatever that goal is so that you can start on the pathway, start down that road of achieving the goal for the thing that you want and feeling really good about it along the way. Because I don't want you to be going after a goal and feeling bad about yourself every day because you didn't achieve it yet today. That is not the way life is supposed to be. Let's find ways to love the process and get really good at the process and create goals along the way that you can use as milestones to drive you, power you, propel you, propel you towards that goal and give you more and more and more excitement as you're going. That's my goal. So I love you guys. Again, my name is Annette. If you don't know who I am, you're going to have to hop over to my Facebook page and check me out. But all week this week, we're going to talk about goals and achieving those goals and being proud and confident about getting there. So thanks a ton. I hope you guys have a great evening. And like I said, the handout is actually in the comments of that video on my Facebook page. And if you're on another uh, platform, you're going to have to ask me for the handout or just hop over to Facebook and grab it out of this live video that's going over there right now. So I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.